Jim Harbaugh is the new head coach of the Los Angeles Chargers in a move that has massive ripple effects in the NFL and college football. Let's start by acknowledging that the AFC West is stacked when it comes to brand name coaches that everyone pays attention to. Andy Reid, Sean Payton, and now Jim Harbaugh. And then let's talk about the coach-quarterback combo conversation that you know I love to have all the time. Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, obviously the best of the best. The question is, can Harbaugh and Herbert match that? Now, expectations are nothing new for the Chargers. Every year, they're a media darling going into the season, and we always think this is the year they're going to break through. Brandon Staley has taken much of the blame for why that didn't happen. But there's still a perception that it's a very talented roster. And again, when you have an elite young quarterback, the question is, can you win right away? And that has always been Harbaugh's specialty. When we think of Harbaugh, we think of winning. Now, sure, there's a real question mark about whether or not he eventually wears organizations down. But if I'm the Chargers, I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is trying to compete right now in this market, in this moment, when I'm the second most important team in L.A. And I realize that I'm up against such a gauntlet in the West. Harbaugh will make them immediately competitive, and that in and of itself matters to the Chargers. In the meantime, the other question we'll now have to ask is, what's next for Michigan? It's incredibly late to get into the hiring cycle for the defending national champions, and you have to wonder about the transfer portal on a team that's already losing a couple of superstars to the NFL draft. This could absolutely smack of a massive rebuild for Michigan in a year where Ohio State has invested heavily in trying to take their next step. You have to wonder if Michigan's been preparing behind the scenes. And if they haven't been, you'll have to wonder why, because there is no easy way for the program to bounce back. In the meantime, one of the biggest personalities in all of football, no matter the level, one of the biggest names in all of football, no matter the level, has now joined one of the best divisions in all of football. And that is going to make the AFC West even more must-see TV every single week next season.